So I listened to uh, some of Why We Sleep, the new science of sleep, of the new science of sleep and dreams by Matthew Walker. Uh, now, I know so far all the books that I've reviewed, I've given stellar reviews for. But uh, this one, I would say go listen to the podcast with Matthew Walker and Joe Rogan. You can type in podcasts. Matthew Walker, it'll probably come up. It's brilliant. Brilliant podcast. Amazing podcast. Life-changing podcast. But he also kind of put, puts his own book in a nutshell. I'm not, uh, you know, slamming his work. Absolutely brilliant scientist. Brilliant scientist. It doesn't get better in science. Although, I don't know. You know, science and books and it's like... I think to create great writing, you shouldn't be thinking. You should be using your, you know, the conscious underneath. You know what I mean? The, the unconscious. You should be writing unconsciously, you know. And, uh, and that's the, the brilliant literary works. It's not, you know, we don't appreciate books because we think about them, realize that they're relatable, and then, then enjoy them. We enjoy them before we realize they're relatable, which is why, of course, everyone in high school says that, uh, says that, oh, you know, the blue curtains didn't matter. You know what I mean? Why am I writing about this character and that character? You know what I mean? Why am I dissecting them? I don't, like, people, the writers don't think about this. Well, you're right. The writers don't think about it, but they unconsciously do it. And uh, that's what makes it so beautiful. You know, great artists, whether they know it or not, are creating great art unconsciously. Uh, they just kind of make it. And, uh, and I think that when it comes to science, science isn't quite like that. Science is all about thinking. And, you know, it's, it's, it's great in its own right, but it's not beautiful. And I know that, you know, to, to say science is beautiful, I, I don't think it's beautiful. I think it's fantastic. I think it's interesting. I think it fulfills a part, you know, something inside of us, although it's not beautiful. So, I mean, to listen to a book about science, it's just... I mean, it's fascinating. That's why I say listen to the Joe Rogan podcast, because what he has to say is fascinating um, and life-changing. But his book was just, mm, you know, cool story sort of thing. Like, cool story. Like, you, you know, you listen to the podcast, you've heard the book. That being said, like, I still have... I'm not even halfway through it. So maybe I, I'm not doing it just. Maybe if I listened to the whole thing, um, I would have a different... Um, a different, uh, you know, sort of um, take. Although, sorry, you know, in this world of amazing books, to, like there are so many, like I could listen to books nonstop and I will never listen to all the good books out there. And I, you know, don't have nine hours remaining to keep listening to your book when I know that there are other strokes of genius out there ready to be heard. So, ladies and gentlemen, listen to that podcast. Uh, mad respect to you, uh, Mr. Walker. Uh, no disrespect to you, although I will. I'm, I've got to be honest in this show, and this is my book club, so I'm allowed to say I'm allowed to say whatever I want. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in tomorrow's uh, book review.